Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is The Best MEDC, and today I'd like to talk to you about one of the coolest ways to store your EDC gear. Holman Hatfield, I've talked about them in the past. I think they make a really cool watch box and what they call the knife deck, but they have some newer and cooler stuff, stuff that accommodates people like me and many, many of you who have more than just a few watches or knives. So that's what we're talking about today, Holman Hatfield's newer products. And with that said, Let's do the damn thing. So as I mentioned, I have talked about Holman Hadfield in the past. What was in that video is this right here. This is their original watch box, but also let me grab it. After I made that video, they actually came out with the knife deck. Same concept, just made a little bit larger to accommodate some knives. And then the drawers are a little bit different as well. This one would hold additional knives. You've got two little sections over here and then an open space you could put like a wallet or something in. In this one, you've got a big wide open space and then three small spots. These are really cool. I used this one on my nightstand at home for God, almost a year, I guess. And then this one I've kept on this, in my set back here, because it looks great. These look phenomenal, but if you have more knives that you want to display, or you just want a good way to store more knives or more watches than four, or maybe five or six, that's where their newer products come in. So I've already talked about these. They're still available. They also have smaller ones. If you want to go that route, just a one post, two post, three post, if you want to go that route. I have a lot of stuff. I really, really like their newer and bigger storage solutions. Watch box, knife deck, let's move on. So this is one of their newer products. This is called the Collector. Same concept as the watch box, but they've made it wider and added three posts. It's pretty logical evolution, just more watches, still looks good. They've not made it like excessive in any way, but because you get that additional footprint, you have a bigger drawer and they've added more sections. And this is the watch box that I've had on my my nightstand for several months now. Um, I don't remember exactly when they sent this, but I keep some spare watch straps. I keep my tools for watches, so poly watch for uh, polishing acrylics. I've got the Damasco bracelet tool and then a screwdriver down in here. Both of those are just for adjusting bracelets and I've moved to a different storage solution, so um, which you'll see, but I used to keep additional tools in here, flashlights and whatever. I keep wedding bands in here if I wanna swap them out. Here I'd keep chapstick, mints, a whistle, for whatever reason. Uh, just odds and ends. This stayed on my nightstand. And I just want to clarify the one thing that I think this jump up in size does is it makes it less practical for a nightstand and more for a dresser, right? You've, you've moved from this. I mean, this thing with the drawer extended is almost the size of the top of my nightstand. So... It, you do kind of move out of that nightstand realm into more of a dresser storage solution. I'm fine with that. That's actually where I moved this to. This now, instead of my nightstand, lives on my dresser. And I have something else on my nightstand, which I will talk about, not later in this video, but in a later video. I really like this thing. I was hoping that having something that would accommodate more than just four watches would also help me cut down on my watch collection and limit it to seven watches. But uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a watch in here. There's a watch on my wrist. There were four watches on this watch box here. That didn't happen. Yeah. Also, uh, you, you probably see a lot of wear on this acrylic. There's a big scratch here. There's wear here. You will get wear around the bottom where this interfaces with the wood. But I would say that most people aren't going to deal with all the scratches that I have. I have brought this thing to and from my house to this office. Uh, God, what, how many times have we tried to shoot this video? Seven, eight, nine times. This thing has traveled a lot and it's not really meant to travel. So I've <laughs> moved this thing around a lot and beaten, banged it up more than I think anybody else will. You can develop scratches on it because it's acrylic, but also because it's acrylic, just like with my watch, uh, poly watch here, you can polish it up. So if you've got scratches, most of the time you can get rid of those. But I just really liked this progression that they made into seven watches. I think beyond this, it really starts to get excessive. And I don't think many people have a watch collection much larger than this. I think if you have more watches than this, 
you're really truly a watch fanatic. Um, I went down that path. Obviously I've got a lot and I, I struggle to get rid of things sometimes, but I wouldn't really consider myself a massive watch fanatic anymore. I love them, but I have curbed my watch spending significantly since two years ago. This is the collector. These are $150. They come in this walnut and is in, in black. And I think it's a really, really cool product. Um, I do think they sell inserts to go in these if you want like a felt insert or maybe there's a leather one. I can't remember. I know that they've got additional stuff that you can fit inside this drawer, but I think the collector is just a really, really cool. And in my opinion, one of the coolest best looking ways to display your watch collection. But to move that aside, the newest product from Holman Hadfield is even bigger <laughs> and it's even cooler. Uh, this is called the Armory. So again, same concept. You went from four to seven, but because knives are longer than watches, you get a much bigger footprint. I mean, look, this thing is 25% wider than the collector. Um, you get a much bigger piece of acrylic, which does pose some problems. Uh, they sent me a couple of these acrylics because they kept breaking in shipment, but they said that they have resolved that issue. Um, it was just a, a packing issue where they would break in transit. So they seem to have figured that out because this one arrived perfectly fine. You get storage on the top here for seven knives. And in the drawer, you have slots for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 more. That's 18 slots. The, the website says storage for 20 to 30 knives. I personally wouldn't be storing 30 knives in this thing, but this is a great way to store a significant amount of knives. I would say that most people don't have this many knives. Um, but you've got this nice felt that comes in the bottom. This is why I like this, the armory better than just this is because let's say you want to do this. Some watches and put them around these posts and you have four knives and three watches up top and then more knives down here. I think that makes this thing super cool. It does look a little different. It doesn't look as nice and clean as this because you do have these cutouts still, but I think it would be really cool to see them sell something specifically for this kind of configuration. But the armory is really, really neat. It, it kind of feels a little more premium than the collector. Just I think the size and the weight and just how massive this thing is, but also with the felt in here, just kind of gives it that little extra panache. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. It makes it feel more premium. But as you can see, I do not have all knives stored in here. So I've used two slots for storing flashlights. I have one here for some smaller pens. I have my watch tools in here. So a screwdriver and a spring bar tool, some additional straps, which I guess to make this make more sense, just looking at this now, it would make more sense to do this right here. Watch stuff and then pens and flashlights. Um, but yeah, you can store knives or really whatever you want in here. This is a great size for lots of different things. And then over here, just pocket art, trash, wedding bands, additional wedding bands. I, I just think this is a really great layout. They've done a great job maximizing the space with organization uh, and, and just making it the right size and shape for all sorts of different things. Like, this is great. The only difference I would like change, I would make if I were to make this box myself is like on one of these sides, I would remove this center piece so you could put like full length pins. That's the only thing I would do coming from like an EDC perspective. I would have one longer slot, maybe two. Um, but yeah, I, I do think this is one of the best ways and best looking ways to store and display your knives. A great uh, evolution from the knife deck. And the only thing left is price. These are $195. They also come in the, the walnut or black, but I think this thing is phenomenal. This will be going, not on my nightstand, because it's, it's bigger than my nightstand, but it will be going on my dresser. And maybe I'll do that three watches and, and four knives configuration or something, but really, really cool to see them build this out. Um, I can't imagine them going any larger than this because it would just be absurd, but uh, this is the Armory. And in my opinion, the best thing that Holman Hadfield has made yet. One of the only downsides 
in my opinion, of this armory, and it, same goes for the knife deck, is size constraints. So there are size constraints for the knives up here. This accommodates a fairly large knife. Like I have a Chris Reeve Inkosi here. Um, I have a F95 from Shurgorov, Hinderer XM18, Vera. I put all my biggest knives in here to show you that they will fit. However, and I haven't even tried this. This one actually should fit now uh, because something that just occurred to me, you now get more vertical space on this lower part of the armory that you don't get the, the watch deck. This uh, Microtech stitch does not fit inside it because it's too tall. It barely fits width wise because the clip, but um, it's too tall for the knife deck. So you do have size constraints to be aware of. Um, and then inside the drawer, these slots are very specific sizes and uh, will limit what you can fit in here. So for example, this is a TW Price Design Dawn. That one fits just fine. Chris Reeve does not fit, not a large one. So uh, very specific size knives are gonna fit inside the drawer and that, that's really the biggest drawback. So if you have all big knives, these are gonna be completely useless for you and this might not be the solution for you, but everything will be linked down below if you wanna check these out yourself. Obviously, as I mentioned, they've got smaller versions. They've got from one all the way up to seven posts for the watch. And then I don't know how small they go with the knife deck, but I, I do believe there's only two knife decks. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, everything will be linked down below. These two, including all the other ones I talked about, the watch box and the knife deck. And I, I do believe the watch box comes in a bunch of different, I know it does, um, everything from one post all the way up to seven. They call them all different things, like the Weekender and the Solo or something. Like They have different names for all of them, but it's the same concept, just different sizing. If I'm not mistaken, which I very well could be, they only have two knife storage solutions, which would be the knife deck and the Armory. I could be wrong. Everything will be linked down below so you can check it out yourself. Let me know what you think about this. And if you don't like this, what is your preferred way to store and or display your knives? I'd love to know because I'd like to you know, explore some other options as well. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. I always forget to tell you guys to subscribe. Um, hit those links in the description down below. Those are affiliate links that help support what I'm doing here. You can also support by going to patreon.com forward slash best But that's all for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on.